Hey everybody, it's Todd Bartusek, Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate, the All Metro Real Estate Group. So I'm here with Rich Farnsworth. He is the owner of Midwest Plumbing and Drain. And what I was gonna have Rich talk about a little bit is he's actually doing a, uh, a mainline uh, sewer scope right now for a client of mine. And just wanted to you know, kind of show people kind of what this process looks like and even have Rich maybe talk about uh, just real quickly, you know, really the importance of doing a mainline inspection when you're looking at buying a house. So Rich, maybe if you can, uh, you know, tell us a little about, you know, about what you're doing and, you know, and I can even walk around and show people the screen and you can really see the inside of that actual sewer. Okay. Well, the importance, Todd, is, uh, is to have a t the line TV before you buy a house is, for one, there's many things that you could run into. Tree roots, for one, especially with older lines that have mm -hmm. old clay tile lines, yep. is the tree roots grow into your lines and many parts of your lines where the lines are connected together. So you can have multiple spots that have tree roots in your lines. So we can go in there and notice and see where all the roots are. One, we can we can notice if they're really bad, we can have them dug up and repaired. Two, we can have, have it jetted and cleaned out mm -hmm. and we can jet them out once a year, which is really the most common thing to do, especially when the people doesn't want to spend a whole lot of money on repairing the lines mm -hmm. you know that's the most common way to have a line cleaned out is by jetting it uh the third thing is flat lines you know which is pretty common especially with the older houses you know you have flat lines in there and what i mean by flat lines is where like the a line, belly a belly yeah line bellies yeah and that could cause problems with with solids and everything hanging up into the mm -hmm. bellies uh but other than that that the jetters you know, we have a hydro pressure jetter that can get in there and clear that out pretty good. Yeah. But nevertheless, you're not going to get rid of the bellies right, in right. the line unless mm. you dig them up and repair them lines. Yeah. yeah. I've got a belly in, in mine, so yeah. I, you know, at some point I'll have you come over and take a look at mine. Yep. Yeah. And, and like I say, and that that'll take care of it. I mean, jetting it. You're, the only truly way that you're going to really get rid of that is by digging them up and repairing yeah. them. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But you know, we can we can get around that. And a lot of times with my hydro jetter, we can solve that problem Clears by the lines cleaning out. them out. Yeah, right. But right. that's the importance of camera and a line before you buy a house. Mm -hmm. So that way you notice and you can see exactly yep. what's going on with your sewer line before you yep. buy the house, yep. Todd. Because a main line uh, replacement can be anywhere from what six, seven, eight thousand. I mean, up to maybe fifteen thousand dollars if the street has to be yep. tore open. Yes, Because I've had that happen before. So, so yeah, guys, this is a this is a a really, really important uh, preventative maintenance kind of a situation when you're looking at buying a house. Um, and even just preventative maintenance, um, you know, if you own the home and just keeping that main line open, because like Rich said, with our older neighborhoods, we get lots of tree roots and things of that nature. And then, you know, it just takes, after enough time, that main line backs up, can flood your basement. I know I've had it happen. So um, I'm also gonna show the uh, the, the camera that, that Rich is actually using here. And in this job here in case this is all plastic sewer line so with this one right here this is not likely that it's going to have tree roots in the line plastic once you put plastic in does not grow tree roots as you can see it looks pretty clear There's this no is literally the inside of this home's main line you can actually see a little bit of water because we've got the home inspector inside right now you can see that the line is all open so what you'll see a lot of times if you have a clay tile main you know you might see you might see cracks you might even see holes i've seen that and then you get root balls that literally just looks like a bunch of string and yarn yep. and stuff that's just all in a ball and it'll literally just stop and you'll see the joints right here say if this was clay tile uh -huh. this is where most of your roots were growing yeah. in is through them clay tile joints yeah. right here todd okay okay got it. got it but with plastic they can't grow in through plastic because it's glued okay got it got it Okay. Well, hey, Rich, I appreciate all the uh, the tips there, and I appreciate your uh, all the work you've done on clients of mine over the years. So, no uh, again, you guys, it's, it's Rich Farnsworth with, with Midwest Plumbing and Drain. He does a great job, so if you need some services, look him up. All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Tuesday Tips with Todd. Love it that it's November 2nd, standing out here. No hat. That's a big thing for me sunglasses on it's beautiful out it's going to be a great week again if there's any friends family members or co-workers that i can help whether it's buying selling investing building or even if it's just somebody that needs a second opinion 
uh, please reach out to me. I'm here for sound advice. So anyways, you guys have a great rest of your week. Let me know if I can do anything to help. Bye-bye.